Omaha Police Lieutenant Mark Dessler says these are crimes of opportunity. With the clearance that a bus has, it's very easy to crawl underneath of the bus and, and use your saw to to cut those catalytic converters out. A closer look at police records shows on July 22nd, thieves took three batteries from 22 buses each parked here on Abbott Drive, 66 total at a value of over $4,600. On top of that, in reports from July 17th and July 23rd, managers for Student Transportation of America told police a total of seven buses on Crown Point Avenue had their catalytic converters sawed off and stolen. A larger one, what would be a, a commercial vehicle or some of the foreign vehicles can be can go as high as $130 for scrap value. While Dessler says the thieves likely will leave town to scrap the parts, OPD works with scrapyard owners like Kyle Kellner with Element Recycling to write down every transaction they have thanks to the Leeds Online program. Everyone's the same boat. You're getting your fingerprint, you're getting your ID taken, you're getting pictures of your material, you're getting pictures of uh, yourself and yeah, so it's, it really helps us out to be able to do that. Still, Lieutenant Dessler says the bus company could do more to protect its fleet from thieves. The bus parking lots are not well lit. They're not they're not well secured. The common sense and security would be would be fencing and, and lighting that would deter the the common or the, the the criminal that's looking for the for the easy hit, the easy score. And because Student Transportation of America manages these storage facilities, we reached out to them for any comment on additional security measures they could take or how they're going to replace the stolen parts of these buses. We have not received any reply. Reporting from Abbott Drive in Omaha, Jose Zosiah for KETV Newswatch 7.